Does Space Engineers work on Steam Deck? Short answer? No. Long answer? Well, let's take a look. As soon as Valve released Steam Deck, they also introduced the verification system for games. It tells you which games are working well on their console. Among games with that juicy green tick are such titles as God of War, GTA V, Elden Ring or Shadow of War. Games like Red Dead Redemption 2 received the yellow sign because of some small technical difficulties, for example small font or a need for a keyboard. If those AAA titles are totally playable on deck, then where's Space Engineers? Space Engineers is officially unsupported. I still decided to install it though, and to my surprise it worked great. Would you believe that this footage was taken directly from a handheld console? We set the game to 720p which is absolutely enough for the 7 inch display of the deck, however if we plan to cast the game on the bigger display it may be a bit blurry. We were able to run the game in a high graphical preset and it looked good. GPU usage oscillated around 90% and CPU usage didn't exceed at 50. That allowed us to maintain a stable 60 FPS and a decent maximum frame time of about 25 milliseconds. We could take it even further both ways, either increase the resolution with custom graphical settings to make it look better or upscale from a lower resolution with FSR to free up some resources if the game gets too intensive. When it comes to battery life, playing Space Engineers allowed us for about 90 minutes of battery time. Here's the comparison of the footage taken directly from the Steam Deck side by side with PC footage. The difference is visible, however, in my opinion the game still looks decent and during intensive gameplay it won't matter that much. You may now ask, then why did you say it doesn't work? There are a couple of issues. For some reason I was able to play in the rival platform scenario for an hour with no problems, but as soon as I started the Earth planet the game crashed. I thought, okay it's weird. The game was stable all this time, but now crashed upon loading the world. I reloaded it and got lucky this time for about 30 seconds. The game crashed again. Just to be sure, I tested it with alien planet, Mars and moon based scenarios and the result was the same. The situation was slightly different for Pertram Orbiter scenario. The footage you see is from over there. It didn't go without some issues though. Space engineers crashed a few times, mostly upon reloading the world, but it also happened that the game froze for a moment. Also when I got to the planet surface with the spectator camera I got instantly kicked to desktop. You may wonder how did I play Space Engineers? and how are the controls in general. I used a USB-C dock into which I plugged a mouse, keyboard and external screen. Playing with the built-in controller is also possible. However, another issue I found was that the triggers, both left and right, do not trigger primary actions. I couldn't use my welder or fire weapons. Thankfully, Steam Deck has a lot of options to remap any buttons on its controller. I remapped the left controller to the right mouse button and the right controller to the left mouse button and the issue was solved. The fact that those issues occur is unfortunate because if AAA games such as Red Dead Redemption work well, then why can't Space Engineers? I do not lose hope though. Valve is working hard to improve Proton, the compatibility layer that allows running games from Windows on Linux on which the Steam OS is based and I believe that Space Engineers will also get support soon. I would not recommend playing Space Engineers on Steam Deck yet, however you can probably successfully design some nice ships or a base with no plans around. Steam Deck actually seems like a great device to play Space Engineers even on high settings and hopefully all the technical issues will be solved and the game becomes fully playable.